This was my first time using the Green Easy Furniture Stripper. I use this on paint. If I were trying to remove a stain, I'd prefer to use the finishing cleaner at full strength. As you can see, I'm pouring it on and then brushing it all over with a chip brush and it's already removing paint. I believe the directions state that you should let it sit for a couple of hours. Well, that's not possible in this heat. It would dry out. I could have put some saran wrap over the top, but I didn't. Here I decided to use a scraper to see if I could get more off, and I certainly did, but it also takes a layer of the wood with it, and I didn't care for that too much. I definitely feel like I removed the stripper too soon, so I've added some more. And again, I'm impatient. Here I'm using a plastic putty knife to remove the paint, and as you can see in this one spot right here, it came off great. There's a bit of a dip in the wood right here, so there was more stripper in this one location. I think that means I should put it on thicker next time. I added more stripper on the left side, but I tried to use the scraper on the right side to see if it would get off more paint, and it did not. It just took off more wood. Allowing the stripper the time it needs to do its job definitely helps. As you can see, once it gets down to thinner layers of paint, it comes right off. I went ahead and added more stripper to that section that I had used the scraper on. As you can see, it's already bubbling. For a relatively non-toxic and environmentally friendly furniture stripper, I'm very happy with these results. I just could have been a lot more patient. Now I'm using the finishing cleaner, some water, and a fine steel wool to get off the last bits of paint and to clean off the residue of the stripper. I turn my steel wool to a clean spot so it can pick up more gunk. Now the most important part, rinse with a damp cloth at least twice. Next, I'll try to remove some of the water rings with furniture salve and a piece of steel wool.